The storm system has arrived. Lightning Boy Audio presents the Dark Storm and Super Storm preamplifiers. The Dark Storm is a standalone microphone and instrument preamp with a level of tone shaping flexibility that set it apart from other preamps. The gain control has quite a wide range and that not only does it boost the volume as you increase it, but it also thickens the tone until you get close to the end of the rotation. I'm gonna use this passive attenuator to trim back the volume so that I can demonstrate how hairy it can get when we crank it. If you feed a loud signal into this, something much louder than spoken word, it will create a fuzz-like distortion, which can be very cool if that's what you're going for. Something like the old switch can amplify that effect even more. The old switch is similar to the gain, but different in that it does increase the volume by 12 dB. It sounds different from the gain control. I'll demonstrate that briefly, but that's an example of how you can get some crazy distortion out of this thing. If we back off on the gain control and just turn up the volume, you'll notice that the old control did not really increase the distortion per se. It just drove the preamp harder. So you can get more gain out of the preamp by hitting that if you're recording with ribbon microphones. The old switch rounds out the tone quite a bit by acting on the impedance of the MCX4 transformer that's inside of the Dark Storm. The switch works on both the XLR input and the quarter inch input. end of the DI input is a JFET amplifier, which provides a high degree of articulation, while the MC15 transformer it feeds into provides the warmth. In fact, there are four audio transformers in the Darkstorm, all of which are manufactured in-house. You're only using all four transformers, though, when you're using the quarter-inch input and output jack simultaneously, sort of like an effects pedal. <laughs> That's not the only purpose for the quarter inch out. It can also be used at the same time as the XLR out, and this can be handy if you're recording with latency. The XLR output could feed into your DAW, as my mic preamp currently is doing, and I have the quarter inch output going to a secondary mic preamp. It could be any preamp with a quarter inch input. In this case, it's another dark storm. The output of this dark storm is feeding into my Behringer PowerPlay headphone mixer so that I can monitor the microphone that I'm recording through with zero latency. The dark storm requires a 48 volt DC power adapter, which is sold separately. And that's because up to eight dark storms and eight condenser microphones can be powered off a single power adapter using daisy chain power cables, which are available at lightningboyaudio.com. The Dark Storm can be ordered direct from Lightning Boy Audio as a standalone desktop unit for just under 900 US dollars. Rack yours are sold separately if you wish to half rack yours. You can also order a stereo pair, which comes bolted together with rack gears and includes a daisy chain cable. The Superstorm is the mic preamp section of the Dark Storm, housed in a 500 series module. It's the same sound as the Dark Storm, but with just slightly less headroom. The Superstorm is available for 649 US dollars or as a four pack for just under 2K. These prices are accurate at the time of this video, but may be subject to change in the future. You can learn more about the Storm Series preamps at lightningboyaudio.com.